The debate over transgender rights is playing out at high schools across the country. The problem for female athletes, when they have to compete against male athletes, they're outmatched. Connecticut is one of 17 states that allow this to happen with no restrictions. Unlike the NCAA, these athletes don't even have to take hormones that suppress testosterone. Track athlete Selena Sowell faced these trans athletes her freshman year. Now when we line up in front of our blocks and the starter calls us to get into position, we all know how the race will end. We can't win. Sowell and Alana Smith, both considered elite track talent, are up against two trans athletes who've taken 15 Connecticut State Championship titles from females in just the last two years. On Thursday, they announced a federal lawsuit against the state's transgender policy. We won't be sidelined and we won't be silenced. We truly believe that there are better solutions, solutions to protect the opportunities for all athletes. The Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference says its policy is appropriate under both state and federal law. In the meantime, lawmakers in 13 other states are trying to level the playing field with bills such as requiring athletes to compete in the gender stated on their birth certificate. Activists like the ACLU call that discrimination, saying individuals should have the right to compete in their preferred gender. Alliance Defending Freedom attorney Matt Sharp argues it's about fairness for biological females. Everyone knows that there are biological differences between males and females. And the whole reason we have laws like Title IX that protect opportunities for females was in response to these realities. Some conservative campaign strategists plan to use the issue in 2020, calling transgender sports weak ground for progressives. We're looking forward to using this issue in really important elections such as Michigan, in Georgia, North Carolina. These states are going to be crucial, not just to the presidency, but also to keeping the Senate. And the voters there are very normal. <laughs> they're very fair minded and they're going to be voting on issues like this. It's a potential fight affecting anyone who cares about the future of women's sports. Heather Sells, CBN News.